Hello, this is a small video about a project that I made based on the Arduino microcontroller. And what I made is this little box here. Uh, I'll open it later up to show you what's inside. The purpose of this box is to do high speed photography. So, high speed photography is about capturing a very fast phenomena. Example, a popping balloon. Uh, and I'll show you here are some examples of, uh, of uh, pictures I've uh, took with this small device here. Um, you also have, of course, cameras that can take a lot of pictures uh, in a very short time frame. But for that, you need very specialized equipment. This is about this box here allows me to take only one uh, picture of the event. Um, and let me explain you how these uh, pictures are taken. Um, first thing, of course, that you need is a photo camera, and I use this one. It's the uh, Alpha 100 uh, of Sony. It's an, it's an entry-level DSLR, so it doesn't have to be a very fast camera. Uh, that is uh, not needed. Uh, but what it must do, it must allow you to take photos in, in a manual setting and into bulk mode. So as I can show you here, on the display now it is currently in bulb mode and bulb means of course that as long as I press the button here the shutter will open once I release it um, it will uh, close again because the pictures that you just saw are actually taken in the dark so the camera doesn't see anything uh, only uh, the short moment that the flash will go off that is the moment that will be frozen onto uh, the uh, the CCD that's inside the camera. Um, of course, this one has to be on a tripod, and for that we also need the shutter release cable. So, this is an example here of a shutter release cable. Uh, at one end it has a connector, which is specific to the brand of a camera that you use, so this is the specific connector for the uh, Sony camera. On the other side, there's a normal, a regular push button. So. It allows you to open the shutter without actually touching the camera, so without making it move. Now what I did is, I took a normal uh, shutter release cable like this, I took off this part, and that's how I end up with this one. So at one end, I st still have the connector that goes into the back here of the camera. Let me show you. So it has here a special connector for the shutter release cable, just slides in like that. On the other hand, where the button used to be now, there's just a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that I used. Uh, it has three connectors. Uh, the first two, if you connect them together, it will make the camera focus, but actually we are switching off the automatic focus and putting it into a manual focus, because uh, photo cameras cannot focus in the dark, of course. So we put it to manual. And uh, if, we, if, it, if the two other ones are closed, it will actually take a uh, photograph. So, as you can also see, I've added a number here, it's number 5. As you'll also see here, at the back of the box, I have all the different connections. And they go from 1 to 6. 1 is not used here, it's for future, a uh, future ID I have in mind. Uh, so, that goes in there. Now, as I just said, of course, on the other hand, we need a flash. Because this is a regular flash, um, and this one also has to go onto a tripod, and this one is the only thing that will go off, and it will freeze the image, like the popping balloon, and though that will be the only thing that the camera will see. Now, to trigger this one, we're not going to put it onto the camera, no, we need to trigger it at the right moment, at the exact right moment. So, what we also need is we need to detect sound, for instance, like the popping of the balloon makes a sound and it's that sound that has to make this flash go off. Uh, the way I did it, by the way, is, is I uh, used a pellet gun uh, to shoot at the balloon. So actually it is the sound of the gun that makes the flash go off, but that's a, a detail, it uh, all depends. Now, to make the flash go off, I have this cable right here. Again, on one side is the same 
uh, it's a connection ready for the flash, so it goes uh, on the bottom, it just slides on. On the other end again, it's a 3.5mm jack, again it has a number to go into this box later on. But now just imagine you've done the entire setup, I mean you have the, your camera ready, you have your flash ready, they're on a tripod, uh, and you're using, and let me show it here, something to detect the sound. And I opened the box here, normally it's in a closed box, but this is actually a piezo sensor, uh, again with some wire, with a connection, so I can put it anywhere I like, uh, depending on the setup I'm doing, again a number here, uh, number 6 in this case, to go into the box. But suppose you've done your entire setup, and uh, at that moment, um, so you've put a balloon ready, you have for instance a pellet gun like I use, or you use a needle to pop the balloon, whatever, um, but then you have to go to the wall, switch off the light, because pictures are taken in the dark, and then you have to go back. And in the dark, you have to uh, open the shutter of the camera uh, without making a sound, otherwise your flash already goes off, you have to find uh, your needle again, you have to know where you've put the balloon, and then you have to pop it, or shoot it, even worse. That is very hard to do, of course. So, what I was thinking, I was like, if I'm detecting sound, why can't I make the whole operation voice controlled? This one is detecting sound. Also, why can't I make going the lights off make any easier? So, what I also added to the entire setup is actually this cable. And this cable, it's a normal power extension cable. So the only thing I did is I modified it and I put on this yellow box here. And as you can see here, there is a, a third gray cable coming out. And at the end, there's again uh, one of the connectors that goes into the box. What is actually in here is just a plain relay. It can switch to 20 volts up to 10 amps and, and that one can be controlled, is again controlled by this little box here. So one of these is actually inside of here. This is just uh, a normal uh, protective uh, case that you use if you put power plugs outdoor like Christmas lighting uh, and it was just cheap easy and that is what is inside. So what I do is I just put this in a power socket and on the other end, on the other end I just put in a light. Just a plain light bulb and I put that one in here. So this is now my light. Now let me quickly put it all together and then I can uh, demonstrate to you uh, how it all works. So, let me make some room here. So the first thing I'll do is, so the power plug just goes uh, in here. The other thing I need is power for this little box here, going at this end. nothing special here. Then I have the control cable for the lamp which goes into number three. Uh, let me put it out of the way. I have the piezo sensor which will detect my sound which goes into number six. I have my flash which goes into number four. I have my photo camera, the release cable of the photo camera, which goes into number five. Now, sound control is okay, but of course we don't want sound control when we are still setting up uh, the whole thing, because otherwise the, the first uh, sound you would make would uh, make the light turn off and that's not useful so what I also added is I just added this simple foot pedal so meaning 
it will not this uh, this piezo here will not listen to me until I have started the entire procedure with this one. So we'll add this one as well. Let me turn on the camera and let's try if it all works. Yeah. So I switched on this little box, which makes the um, uh, the relay turn on now, so I am having light at this moment. So what you do now, the first step is, you set up your balloon or whatever you want to take a photo of, and you put both your flash and your camera on a tripod, you're aimed, they're, uh, you manually focus it, uh, and once you're ready, the first step you do is, you press this uh, foot switch here. So which is very easy for me because I just have it lying on the ground, as I said, I was using a pellet gun, so I could already have it in my hand, aim it at the balloon, and then just push the switch here with my foot. As soon as I do that, this box will start listening to me. And if I give it a short comment, like just saying, yes, short comment, it will understand that. If I do a longer comment, something like stop, which just sounds longer because actually it just detects volume, then it means a cancel for this little device and it will close my camera, turn on my light because for instance I've forgotten something or something's going wrong so I just want to cancel the whole procedure. Uh, so I can do that as well. Um, once, so with the first light uh, command, the light will go off. At that moment I'm in the dark. Um, then the next command I will give will make the shutter open of the camera. So I can all do all that with my voice, and then the next sound, which is like the balloon popping or the, the gun firing at the balloon, that will trigger the flash. Once the uh, photo is taken, it will close the shutter again and turn the light back on. So let me give you a small demonstration, I'll just clap my hands as a sound. And there you have it. So I first pushed it. You may have heard I've also added a buzzer in here. So it just uh, gives me a roger beep to confirm like I heard you, I understood what you wanted. So the first uh, clap I did after I pushed the foot pedal, it turned off the light. The second clap actually made the shutter go on, go open. And then the third time I clapped my hands, it made the flash go off, which would freeze the image of a popping balloon. So this is a quick demonstration of the whole procedure. Now, some other buttons I added here on the front. Uh, let me just switch it off so we get a bright light out of the way. So what I have here on the front of this device, actually, it is just a on-off switch. Then the next one says sound or light. Uh, what I plan to do in the future is also to have a um, photo uh, gate which will detect motion. Exa uh, examples are uh, drops dropping into uh, liquid, so they will pop up. So I have it already here for future use. Then I also have a sensitivity, yeah, sensitivity here, and delay on this side. Sensitivity is just to see how sensitive it reacts here to uh, the sound. Delay means between the moment you've heard the sound to take the picture, how long do, does the device have to wait before it will trigger the flash? Uh, and by turning this one, I can make it uh, go between 0 and 250 uh, milliseconds. Uh, for instance, shooting the pellet gun, the pellet travels, I don't know, takes like between the sound and actually the balloon popping, takes something like 10, 15 milliseconds. It depends on how far I'm away from it uh, and so on. So I can do that as well. Now, let me quickly put some stuff out of the way and open up that box. So I'll deconnect everything, put it out of the way, and just have a closer look at the inside of this one. I'll quickly open up the box so you see what is actually inside. I will see it is a little bit yeah, dead bug style. Uh, a lot of wires going on here. 
Here at the center, which may be a little bit harder to see, is in fact the Arduino. So I use the Nano just because it's a small one, it's the latest version, um, so it's uh, exactly the same as the Arduino Uno, it's just a smaller size. Um, so this is the little guy that controls the whole lot. What you will see here on this side, you'll see a large cool fin. It's actually, it's uh, underneath there's a, a 7805 to give me a stabilized 5 voltage. There is also a 7805 on the Arduino itself, but it's a very tiny one. And it cannot deliver uh, enough amps to control everything. So, uh, like uh, the buzzer, like uh, and all the equipment that I connect to it. So, I needed to go for a separate one. Here in this corner, but that's a little bit hidden, but try to show it here, the bottom corner is actually a small amplification uh, circuit because the piezo that I showed you, it, uh, it connects to one of the um, analog ports, so the analog in ports um, to detect the sound, but it gives uh, something like millivolts uh, when, it, uh, when the sound is uh, detected. So, of course, it has to be amplified. Uh, there is, around here, a 100K uh, multi-turn potentiometer to fine-tune it so that when there is no sound, there's silence, this one will, to the analog pin, will give something around a 512. Uh, so that's what you would read uh, in your uh, program when there is silence. The moment there is sound detected, of course, it starts to oscillate between and be above and below uh, the 512, so going somewhere to 0 or 10,023 uh, on the analog pin. So that's a little amplification unit here. Then here, a little bit hidden below these wires, are three uh, very small uh, read relays. I wanted to have complete separation between the flash between the camera uh, so that this unit could never damage my equipment or vice versa. So I used read relays because they are, have a faster switching time than normal relays. These ones are switching uh, within one millisecond according to the data sheet uh, and they prove to be fast enough here for the device I just built. So that is what they are used for. There are three. There are two for the camera because as I told you the uh, shutter release cable has three connections. You connect the first two to focus, then you have to connect the first and the last one also at the same time to take a picture or to open uh, the shutter as I'm in bulb. And then the third one is for the flash. This is just the buzzer which gives me the roger beep uh, if the uh, device has understood me correctly. The rest of course are just the potentiometers that go on the, at the front side here. Uh, there's a little LED here to uh, show you that the device is on. This, by the way, also goes off the moment the shutter opens because I want to be in complete darkness, so I didn't even want to have the LED here. So when I switch it on, it goes on, but the moment it opens the, uh, the uh, shutter of the camera, all even this LED goes off, so I don't even have a small red light uh, when I'm taking uh, the pictures. And that, I think, is about it. Uh, very simple box uh, and also in terms of the electronics that go around it. Most of the logic is of course within the Arduino and I hope this can help some other people who would like to build something similar. So thank you for watching the video. Bye.